So before they tell them, I say, you, I will use you to build my house. Some of them made the money. They pulled themselves out of the house of God and chased the world and pursued the world. Greatness is important in every generation. Without greatness, we will not attain to the levels that we are supposed to attain in life. Greatness is like a shining light. Greatness is like a shining light that makes a generation, that makes a generation to continually to say, oh, glory and honor be to almighty Jehovah. In this program, every one of you, no matter the area of your specialization, no matter those things that you have been praying to God and asking from God Almighty to do in your life, I want to assure you that this greatness unlimited is going to provoke the lifting and the blessing you pray for in the name of Jesus. Because as a ministry now, the Holy Spirit has already taken over the house. You can see the presence of God life here. You can see the glory of God life here. And uh, I want to congratulate you that are here you that are watching, that today the miracle that will happen in your life will be uncomparable. In the name of Jesus. I want you to turn with me to the book of Matthew chapter 13. Matthew chapter 13, I want us to go and read the number 43 of Matthew chapter 13. Thank you Holy Spirit. Thank you Jesus. I know your presence is here. I know that you have come to bless your people and I know that something good is going to manifest in your house in this program in Jesus' name. I want to read it from verse 43. It said, Then shall the righteous shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father, who art ears to hear, let him hear. Praise God. Then shall the righteous shine forth as the son in the kingdom of their father. Who are here, let him hear. Hallelujah. Verse 44. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a, unto a treasure hid in a field. The which when a man had found, he hide and goeth forth. Therefore, goeth and sell it all that he had and buy it that field. Amen. Amen. The kingdom of heaven and the discovery of the purpose of God in our lives is the key to our greatness. Greatness cannot come until one is able to discover the purpose of God in his life. Because discovering the purpose of God in your life is the key and the major aspect of the greatness that God has ordained for your life. If a man lives in this world and never know God, never accepted Jesus in his life, that man has lost every greatness. Any man on the face of the earth that does not know his creator, that does not know his maker, that does not know his God, is a man without greatness. The moment you give your life to Christ and you begin to follow the Lord God, your creator, you have entered the path to greatness. That's why the Bible says that the kingdom of God is like a man that wants to walk in a farm and discover it, a hidden treasure in that farm. The man go out and sell it all that he has to come and make sure he buys that land because he knows that the treasure that is in that land is greater than everything, even in the land itself. The moment we have the opportunity to know our God and know the plan of God in our lives is the key to the greatness we are talking about. Because the moment you discover the purpose of God in your life that you are made in this world to serve God, then every other pressure on you will less. They will all go away. The pressure of family foundation will go away. The pressure of sickness, sin, and diseases will go away. The pressure of frustration or whatever the devil is offering will go away because your heart will be taken over by God. Your heart will be made up for God and God alone. 
We are going to also study and see what God has already promised and what God has already ordained for those that want to attain greatness. Those that want to attain greatness. Remember when God made the heaven and the earth, God created everything. After creating everything, he brought them all to Adam. He brought them all to Adam. Provided Adam is in the covenant. Greatness is about covenant. What is the covenant? There is something God has spoken about your life. Many of you are here, you have not fulfilled, you have not started, you have not discovered the root. You have not even known what God has ordained for your life. That is why this program is going to be the key to opening up everything that God has ordained for your life in the name of Jesus. And you know that many of us in this world, we can still come to church and not know what God has ordained for us. We can still come to the house of God and not know the purpose of God in our lives. We may not know what God wants to use us for. That is why I kept on telling the people in the country that God has already made the people that are going to be the liberation to this country. But if this country can open their eyes and discover the inward and look into the people that I called last time, I said goat, look into the people that are the greatest of them all and now use them, you will see the salvation of the country coming. Your family were privileged enough to have somebody like you. But it's unfortunate that many of you from your family are not adding impact to your family. Your husband is privileged to have somebody like you as a wife. But it's unfortunate that you have not really discovered the purpose why you married to that man. Some people, their wives, they are fortunate enough to have the wife they have. But because they have not really discovered the reason why God gave them the person he gave to them, they are still yet not fulfilled. And thereby, the greatness somehow truncated. But in this program, God is going to enlighten your spirit. God will enlighten your spirit. I say God will enlighten your spirit. God will enlighten your spirit. And when God enlightens your spirit, all the greatness will be let open. I say it will be let open. It will be let open. And you will fulfill the purpose of God in your life. He said, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a treasure hid in a field that which a man had found, he had to go for and sell it all that he had and come to buy that land. Because he knows that the moment he gets that land, Everything that is in that land become his. Because he knows that if he can be the owner of that land, the treasure in that land is his own. And Jesus said that is how the kingdom of God is. No wonder he made it clear, seeking first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Every other thing that will make you greatness will come. Many of us are not seeking the kingdom of God. Some people are tired of the kingdom of God. Some people hear different kind of news. They are tired. They say they are done. They don't want to serve the Lord. They don't want to follow the way of the Lord. But I want to let you know that no matter what is happening on the face of the country, on Nigeria, or anywhere in the world, God still have you as his son and his daughter. And if only you can know God as your God and your father, I want to tell you that your greatness unlimited is already set to shine like a sun in the sky. You will shine like a sun in the sky. I say you will shine like a sun in the sky. That's why I say that it's, it's all about shining for the righteous. The righteous will shine. They will shine forth as a sun. They will shine forth as a sun. Forget about all that is happening now. All we need is to seek first the kingdom of God. All we need is to pursue that will of God. Bible says God knows his plan towards us. I know my plans towards all, towards you all. They are plan of good and not of evil. God knows his plan towards us. And because he knows his plan towards us, how many of us are ready to hold on to the plan of God and follow up the plan of God? How many of us are ready to pursue that will of God in our lives? How many of you are ready? How many of you are ready to hold on to what God has already ordained for you? Some people, God have created them, you must serve me. But they remove their head and say, I will not serve you. Some people, God said, I will use you to deliver others. They remove their hand and say, no, they don't want to be the instrument 
to deliver orders. Some people, God created them and said, I want to make you a pillar in my house. They removed the child. They said, I don't want to be a pillar in thy house. Some people, God created them and said, you, I will use you to build my house. Some of them made the money. They pulled themselves out of the house of God and chased the world and pursued the world. Greatness unlimited is discovering the purpose of God in your life and knowing God in fullness. Greatness unlimited is knowing Christ and the will of God for you. These are the things we continue to pray in this program. That God will open our eyes and teach us more on how to focus on the greatness unlimited for our life, for our destiny, for our glory. Because there's something God has already ordained for you and I. We are not created in this world to come in this world and just be like others. We are special people with special purposes. But the problem is how many of you are discovering the purpose? I pray that the Holy Spirit will release all the blessing today. Amen. I say let him release all the blessing today. Amen. He will make all things possible in your life. Amen. I say God will make all things possible in your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lay your hand on your heart. Say Father thank you. Father, thank you. Because I can see your presence. Because I see your presence. I see that the spirit has come and take over. Like a dove, God has sent his angels to bless me. Yes. Say, like a dove. Like a dove. God has sent his angels to angel. bring my blessing to, to me. Bring my blessing in to the me. name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Something is happening. You oh are going to walk out of any sickness that troubles your life. Your you are going to walk out of any pain in your life. Will bring my blessing. You are going to walk out of any limitation in your life. You are going to walk out of any setback in your life. You are going to walk out of any delay in your life. You are walking out of any setback in your life. For the glory of God has taken over. The presence of God has taken over. The will of God has fulfilled in your life. That thing that God has for you is coming to pass. The Lord is opening your light and your light is shining. And darkness cannot comprehend it. In the powerful name of Jesus. In the powerful name of Jesus. In the powerful name of Jesus. From strength to strength, from glory to glory, I receive my blessing this morning. I receive my, my greatness on the mission. I receive it this morning. In the name of Jesus, Amen. When the scripture says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, there's something specific about it. Something specific about it. The Bible says, Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Seeking the free kingdom of God first means uh, to pursue the will of God for your life. To pursue the purpose of God for your life. To serve God with all your heart. To serve God with all your soul, all your body, all your spirit. To concentrate in what God has spoken about you. I know there are many of us who are businessmen that have different businesses. To be diligent in your business is not a crime. But any diligence in your business that will make you to ignore your creator and your maker is a waste of time. 